Biomed Central is a strong publisher of uh, open access journals and uh, the Andrew Lumsden and I thought it would be a really good idea to start a journal in, of neural development uh, because there's so much work in this field and there's no real specialist journal for it. And because of the trend towards uh, uh, the desire for open access publishing, we thought it would be a great opportunity to launch a journal of, uh, uh, in neural development through Biomed Central. What I work on is the development of the visual system. We've been interested in the development of the visual system from the earliest stages of cells that become committed to form parts of the visual system to the way that those cells hook up once they become uh, differentiated neurons. All aspects of that process, which encompasses a lot of developmental uh, processes, um, is with within the scope of what we study in our lab. Um, particularly interested in cell determination and uh, the relationship between cell division and cell determination. The journal is called Neural Development and the scope of the journal is to understand the mechanisms that are involved in the making of the nervous system. And we're looking at molecular, cellular, behavior, behavioral, physiological, all those kind of techniques apply to understanding how the nervous system uh, forms in an embryo. This is the first journal that really is focused on the idea of uh, neural development. And so if you're, uh, if you're working in that field, this is the journal that you should publish in. The reasons for publishing neural development are that they can be assured of high quality um, reviewing. We have the top um, developmental neurobiologists on our editorial board. We have fast review times. We can publish their paper as they want it published um, and we'll make sure that it, it reaches the highest standards in the field. We want to publish really good developmental neurobiology and we don't care how long the paper is. We want to get the good stuff out there. So if they want to get the good stuff out there, this is where they should publish. There's a journal called Development that a lot of people know about, which is pretty molecular uh, mechanisms of development. And lots of people publish their neural development stuff in the journal Development. But we'd like to focus on neural development, the same kind of mechanisms, molecular genetic mechanisms of the development of the nervous system. Uh, and put it all into one open access journal. One of the features of um, developmental um, studies nowadays is that people are becoming more and more able to look at development as it happens, to look into embryos, to make time-lapse movies of things happening. Uh, neural development is really specializing in trying to help people publish that material by making clickable movies. There's the article there and there's a picture, but the picture can be animated um, so that you can see the data um, that the researchers got over time. And that's really important in this field and we want to make that more available to the publishers and to the readers. The thing that I think will really be appealing to quite a lot of uh, younger people, graduate students and postdocs who might be interested in, in being authors on on papers in neural development is the fact that every paper comes with its own title page, own cover page for the journal. So the words neural development and the title of the paper will be written, the authors, and, and it will be just like having a, a cover for every paper. So that's really good when you're sending out uh, your CV and works to um, potential jobs to, for, for them to see uh, a cover page. The benefits of open access publishing, in my opinion, are the fact that once your paper is published, it becomes immediately accessible to everyone free. That's the main thing. The other key benefits, as I see it, are that the way that we're publishing is that there is no um, page limit on the, uh, on the journal so you can publish the whole work 
if it has uh, 15, 20 figures, several movies, it's all publishable on one thing. Then if people need to print it, of course they can, but immediately it's available to the community. That's the, that's the main thing. Well, publishing is moving towards open access. I think a lot of people would like to have their work, as soon as it's published, accessible to the broad uh, community. Uh, the government and the funding agencies are also strongly supporting open access publication and putting pressures on publishers who are uh, uh, trying, to fight th trying to fight that and jack up their prices. So having an open access uh, journal from the start seems to be a really good idea in order to uh, short circuit all the worries that you have to go through with other journals. Um, and if we can get the, um, you know, get the best papers in the, in the field coming into neural development where they should come, um, then it's going to be great for, for the field. Reaching people in countries that have poor access and universities that have poor access to the hard journals, the expensive journals, is really important. Some of those people are doing interesting work. Some of those people are, are, are teaching um, future generations of developmental biologists, inspiring them. Without access to the uh, journals, they have trouble keeping abreast of the field. So uh, an open access journal like this, where someone in India or China can click on and get the uh, recent paper, is really uh, key to advancing and spreading the word of developmental neurobiology and how the science is done and inspiring the next generation of, uh, of developmental neurobiologists.